Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. Today I would like to start a new section in the channel, in which I will dedicate myself to give a deeper opinion on a specific unit. This idea came to me, while I was trying to find a new format for the analysis of the standard banners. I hope you like it. And to inaugurate this new section, we will analyze the unit that is on the current standard banner, Unex. Who is Unex? Unex is an operator for Makahala which is located in Sargon. She is Gaviel's rival, and the only one capable of facing her in a 1 vs 1, but unlike Gaviel, she prefers to use intelligence, rather than brute force to win a fight. She decided to join Rhodes Island after meeting Lancet 2, and seeing that it would be the perfect place, to learn how to create more and better machines. Unex is a playable unit. She is a defender dualist, this combination makes her unique compared to the rest. What makes her different from all defenders, is the fact that she can only block one enemy, so it can be a bit difficult to get used to her way of playing, if you have been using units of this type for a long time. Stats and Talents These are the stats of my Unex Elite to level 50, as you can see his damage is quite high, which allows her to kill units with low defense and low health quite fast, and her defense along with her life, allow her to absorb a lot of damage in combat, but as if that were not enough. Her talents further improve her stats in combat depending on the situation in which she finds himself. Her first talent is unlocked in Elite 1, which is, Peerless Bravery, which will increase the damage caused by 115%, when her life is greater than 50%, and if her life is less than 50% she will gain 20% of the Sanctuary effect. What is the Sanctuary effect? It is a buff that reduces the damage received from both physical and arts damages. In the case of Unex it is reduced by 20%, which can help her to get to charge her skill to turn the fight. Her second talent which is unlocked by promoting her to Elite 2 is Resilience, which increases her SP generation by 0.2 per second. This talent is very important, because Unex only gets SP when she blocks an enemy. Now let's talk about her skills. In the case of Unex, all her skills are very good, so it will all depend on your playstyle at what moment you want to use each one. Her first skill, Tomahawk, is a passive that increases her attack and defense. At level 1 it will increase both stats by 10%, and at level 7 by 18%. At Mastery 3 it will reach an increase of 25%. You will notice that she has this skill active by the color of her weapon. Her second skill, Menacing Slash, it will increase attack speed a bit, and also her attack, but in addition to that it stuns all blocked enemies, while the skill is active. At level 1 it will increase the attack by 70%, at level 7 by 130%, and at mastery 3 by 180%. It is a very useful skill, to keep control over units with a lot of damage, and its talent can cause huge damage even to enemies with a lot of defense. Finally her third skill, and the one responsible for the Gundam jokes. Iron Will, Unex temporarily retires from combat, and in her place, comes the High Priest in command of the Ranging Ironhide. This machine has an increased attack and defense, but in addition to that it also has life regeneration, and can block 2 more enemies, so it end blocking 3 enemies like most defenders. At level 1 it receives a 110% increase in attack and 60% in defense, its life regeneration is 3% per second. At level 7 the increases are 170 in attack, 120 in defense, in mastery 3. 230 in attack, 160 in defense and its regeneration increases to 6%. Something very important to take into account is that when the skill ends, Unex will return to combat but will be stunned for 5 seconds. Her talents in the base. Unex has a couple of interesting talents. Her first talent automation. When she is assigned to a factory, she will make the productivity of all operators go to zero, but in exchange each power plant increases the productivity of the factory by a fixed percentage. In its alpha version the increase is 5%, while in its beta version it is 10%. Her second talent, I've got this, it must meet a specific condition. And that is to have Lancet 2 in a power plant. Once we have Lancet in the power plant and Unex in the control center, the power plant where Lancet is, will count as two power plants. Analyzing Unex. If we compare the stats of Unex with other defenders, we can notice how her attack stands out. Thanks to it, she can face enemies with a lot of life without problems. 
However, she's very vulnerable to ranged units, especially those that deal large damage, so you'll want to deploy her in areas where most units deal physical damage. Despite the fact that she can only block one unit, her huge attack damage helps to compensate a bit for the slack. Having a lot of attack she can finish off enemies faster, and can focus on the next one sooner. However, the biggest weakness of Unex is her SP regeneration. This added to the fact that her skills are very expensive, causing that against very strong enemies she doesn't get to charge her skill in time, which is a shame, because skill 2 and 3 can turn a fight around without problems. Best Companions for Unex Unex's main role is to defend. So her mission is to hold back as many enemies as possible, while the other units are in charge of lowering their health. However, thanks to her skill 3, you will find that you can place her alone, or with little help, similar to Mud Rock. But, there are times when she will need a little help to finish strong enemies. Some operators that can be a good choice to support her would be Angelina, thanks to her talents. She will not only give you attack speed, but her life regeneration can allow you next to survive without the need of medic. Telopsis, thanks to her talent, she increases Unex SP regeneration. However, keep in mind that the regeneration granted by her will not be added to Unex, since her talent says that only the highest value will be applied. Whizlash, she is a unit focused on supporting defenders, however Unex is a small exception, since she will not be able to access her buffs until her skill 3 is active, or until you activate skill 2 Whizlash. And finally, what in my opinion is the best companion for Unex? Warfarin. In my opinion, Warfarin is the best companion for Unex. Thanks to her talent, it will considerably increase SP regeneration, allowing Unex to make use of her skills faster, besides being able to buff attack and give her regeneration to avoid losing damage because of her talent. As a curious fact, Liskam's talent does not seem to affect Unex. Skins. Before moving on to the final section, let's take a look at their skins. Unex currently only has one skin. Here is a small comparison with its base design. Pros and cons. Pros. High damage defender. Very good defense. Her first talent allows her to survive in critical conditions. If you don't have enough power generators, she along with Lancet 2 can help you compensate. Her skills 2 and 3 can allow you to come back from a fight and last long enough. Cons. She has a very high DP cost. Only blocks one unit, unless you use her skill 3. Extremely vulnerable to casters. Her skills require too much SP only regenerates SP if she blocks an enemy. Personal opinion. Personally it is a unit that I always found very fun to use. It takes advantage of its strengths very well. Its playstyle seems very interesting to me. You will suffer a little due to its high cost, but I guess it is to avoid deploying a unit with a very high damage too early. Even so if you have good DP generators, you will end up deploying it very fast. And to finish just to clarify that this is not a video to say if this unit is good or bad, it is simply a small guide 
to help you better understand how this unit works, in case you have doubts, or do not end up fully understand her style of play, if it is good or bad is up to you. Now that would be all for this video, I hope you like this new section of the channel, my plan is also, to cover 5 and 4 stars, I plan to rotate, so the next video will be about a 5 star unit, if you have recommendations, to improve these videos do not doubt, to leave them in the comments. Thank you very much for your attention, see you next time.